Hello everyone, welcome back to Ramon at Home. I'm so excited you're here today because I had quite a crazy week, let me tell you, with doctor's appointments, now on a diet, and then also a tooth extraction. I just kept busy, but I'm super excited to actually be here and share this video with you because on today's video, I'm gonna share with you focal points and interior design. I'm gonna show you how you can create beautiful focal points in your interior design to make statements and they're super easy and very, very affordable. So if you are interested, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like the video and share with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss future decorating ideas and DIYs, all things Ramona Home here on this channel. All right, let's go into the dining room and I'm gonna show you focal point number one. Okay, you guys, so on this focal point, as you can see, I just did an arrangement and creating symmetry with these beautiful blue and white containers that I found at Ross Dress for Less that I show you on our last video haul. And what I've done is I actually just done some hand tie bouquets that I'm gonna take one out so you guys can see. I basically just gather all of these greeneries, uh, some from Walmart, some from Hobby Lobby, some from Shinoda Design Center, and I just went ahead and bended those stems and zip tied it together. And I just drop it right here on my container. Super, super easy. Making sure that the arrangement doesn't really touch the clock for the hand to be able to go around. And I went ahead and mimicked that with the lamps on each side. Now, you know those lamps also came from Ross Dress From Less, and I was actually just shopping there the other day, and I saw they had them available again for $39.99, I believe. So super affordable. I love the way these look with a beautiful clock inside. Then right here, I did a stack of books. And I don't know if you know this, but all of your books, jackets are um, white on the inside. So what I did is I basically just flipped the jacket around. This is Harry Potter, which is how I learned how to speak English. And then you have a cohesive look right here. I just put a few books here for interest and I have my candle serving as uh, bookends and I'm just gonna go ahead and turn them on. And just this easy, you can create a beautiful focal point in any room in your house. I love the way this looks. I cannot wait to read your comments, but now I'm going to take you in the living room and show you my focal point over there. Come with me. Don't you guys just love the contrast of all of that blue and white against the clock in the greenery? I think it turned out absolutely gorgeous. I had so much fun just showing you how easy it is to create focal points to make statements in your home. All you have to do is dare to try and I know you can do it. All right, let's move on to focal point number two. All right, so we are now in my living room and this is when you first walk into my home you run into this table right here, which has a collection of photographs of loved ones that well no longer are here with us, my beloved aunt. And I just bought all of these really pretty matching frames at um, Ross Dress for Less, which they really have an awesome selection of picture frames, you guys. Uh, there's one that is empty that is waiting for a picture of my nephew. Then I wanna mention this lamp right here that I found at Goodwill for $12.99. I just bought the shade at uh, Home Goods and it was $12.99, so for under $30, you can find a really pretty lamp. Then this beautiful mirror right here, which is the focal point of the room because you can see yourself before you go out and get ready. On this side right here, I have this really pretty plant and I just wanna show you something real quick. You might think that this is one plant, but it's actually two that I put together on this container that I found at Goodwill. And then I just added some moss around it and it looks like one plant all together. And this area right here is actually flanked with these beautiful cheetah print chairs that I bought from Facebook Marketplace and my beautiful, beautiful Hermes blanket that is just hanging out for when it's cold. Right now here in California, it's a little warm, so it really doesn't need a blanket, but it's just another accessory. So this is focal point number two. As you guys can see, the black table really grounds it together. The mirror that goes all the way up, a lamp, and then creating symmetry with a plant on the other side. Super simple to achieve. Just add some photographs and you have yourself a focal point. So now I'm gonna take you to the other side of the room where I have a long table and I cannot wait to show you. Keep watching.
Well, gathering a collection of pictures of loved ones can really make, create a focal point in any entryway table, foyer, or any place in your home. And I love to gather pictures of people that I love that are no longer with us, so they remind me that I am doing the right thing and I can just follow their steps and follow their guidance. And I just love displaying their pictures right here. So I really love the way focal point number two turned out because it really reminds me of where I am, who I am, and where I come from. All right, enough about that. So let me show you focal point at number three. All right, so now I'm standing right off the kitchen. We have this eating breakfast little area where we have breakfast in the morning. And right here, the focal point is this big bowl. It doesn't have to be a massive floral arrangement. It doesn't have to be anything oversized, but just a simple white bowl along with a picture in this little area. It really calls your eye to the area and it really makes it look put together, simple and elegant. So now I'm gonna go back into the living room and I'm gonna show you another focal point. Well, I wanna take a second to invite you guys to come and follow me on my Instagram for future decorating ideas, all the things that you don't get to see here on YouTube. The links to all of my social media are linked down below and I cannot wait for you guys to come and follow. So I just got my package from target.com and this is a little side table that I purchased. I have my scissors right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it and show you what this looks like. Well, I do want to mention that the packaging is really, really outstanding. It really is protected. This is a tiny little cocktail end table for your living room. And I love, I absolutely love it, you guys. This is so cute. And it was super, super affordable. I'm gonna link it down below for you guys. But this is just a little accent, so where you can put your drink right here. And I really, really love it. Wow. I'm gonna have to order another one. Okay, so I wanna show you the finish. This is a brass finish, and it is so, so pretty. The finish on it, not only the color, but the um, way that it's hammered. I just love it, and the glass is tempered, so it really is good quality glass, and it's gonna hold my drink. This is perfect. Love it. Okay, so this is perhaps my favorite focal point I have here in my home. And I have this beautiful long table that I found at a local thrift store, you guys. This table all only cost me about $49. And I have all of my books that I actually have read all of them. And I found this lamp. Actually, here's a story about this lamp. We were at Goodwill store with my mom and my grandma and my mother found this lamp for $12.99, which is a regular price for a lamp at Goodwill here in California. And I loved it so much, but she had it on her hands. So of course I'm not gonna take it from her and so we put it in her house i give her my collection of blue and white and so i just loved it i always loved it uh, and one time i just asked her to borrow it and she let me borrow it so the lamp's still here it is not quite my lamp but i have to return it back to her sometime very very soon whenever i find a new set of lamps then i have this beautiful picture that i found at a local antique store in kansas when i lived in kansas and that picture has traveled all over the United States, because when we moved here to San Diego and we had this company move us, then they took it all over the place before it arrived here in San Diego. But thank God it is not broken, it is not damaged, and it's just sitting on the table because I move stuff around all the time for me to be able to put holes on the wall. That is another secret I can give you. Unless you're really going to be sure that that's where it's going to stay for a long time, then do not put holes on the walls because, well, you're gonna have to be patching all over the place, especially if you rent. And on this side over here, I have this gorgeous floral arrangement that I bought um, from Goodwill. And I wanna show you, I still have the price tag over here just because I wanted to show you. This tall container only cost me $4.99. And as you guys can see, I made a tall bouquet of my favorite flower, which is by Burnham, and some of the greeneries from Walmart. Now here in the center, I have these decanters. And this is one thing that I wanna to talk to you guys about. Somebody actually did mention how I mix the rustic with the crystal and the silver, and I love mixing all kinds of, not only patterns together and colors together, but also textures. This uh, container of wood, raw wood, really looks really pretty together with the crystal and the leather tags and the silver train. It just really makes a more um, eclectic look, which is what I love.
All right, well, that's all I have for today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share with a friend, let them know about Ramon at home, and be sure to turn your notification bell on for future decorating and DIY ideas. If you really enjoyed this video, I really recommend this one right here where you can see all the rules about how to decorate a room. Thank you for watching, consider subscribing, and until next time, bye.